Hey guys, me Mr. Casual. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how Hamza Chamaya responded um to Kamara Usman. You know, they got have they're going like in a little back and forth, and a lot of people are speculating they, they might be fighting um sometime at the end of this year. And Hamza Chamaya was like, um, you, you might be the boogeyman, Kamara Usman, but I am the wolf. So <laughs> we're gonna be reading an article on MMAfighting.com. But before we get into it, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys so please subscribe to us with the channel, help the channel grow so we can grow as a community. I really appreciate it. Um, also, I made a cash shop. The username is in the description. Feel free to donate. Um, you don't have to donate, but if you want to, you could, you know. Anyways, let's get right into it. MMAfighting.com. So the title is Hamza Chamaya fires back at Kamara Usman. You are the boogeyman, but I am the wolf. That's what I'm about to say. They both don't have a fight. They both need a fight. And um, I think they were saying, like, Hamza is definitely going to fight in September. You know, some people are speculating maybe he was suspended because it was, like, exactly a year he hasn't fought by September or something like that. Um, Or, yeah, around this. I, th I think it's September, right? So, and there's a lot of talk about Hamza Chimai and Usman fighting. But then Dana White's, like, completely denying it. But then, you know, I don't 100% trust Dana White because, like, why would they be talking back and forth so much? It's making it seem like the fight might actually happen, and there's a lot of rumors going on that that fight is like really close to happening. So I don't know. Hamza Chimaev is ranked number four right now, so I don't know. Let's read it. Kamar, okay. Hamza Chimaev is down to fight Kamar Usman as long as the former UFC welterweight champion is willing to make the move up to 185. Yeah. So the response from Chimaev came after Usman addressed the potential matchup during a fiery appearance at UFC 290, where he voiced his frustration with trying to make the fantasy fight become reality. So apparently Usman was like frustrated, you know. Um, he, he wants to make the fight happen. You know, at the end of the day, um, I have been and still am the boogeyman of the division. Usman said, I, I asked for the guy if you want to fight, you want to be um you want to be a champion, cut the fucking weight and come fight. Yeah, because I mean, you know, I you know um Hamza Chimai, you know, he missed weight against um Kevin Holland, he was like 170.6 pounds, I think. Let's continue. In a post on Twitter, Chimai challenged Usman to meet him at middleweight rather than clashing at 170. Which was apparently um there the difficulty started with putting the fight together. So Usman's like come to 170, Chamaev's like come to 185, you know, and they both want to make the fight happen. That's what I'm saying. I think this fight will happen somehow. I mean, they should fight at a catch weight or something. 175, 180 or something. To make the fight happen, bro. Like I really I don't want this to be like another John Jones and Gamble thing when it never happens, you know. Like I, I wanna see Usman and and, and, I'll, and I don't see Chamaev. So let's continue. I'm in a post fight Twitter. She might have challenged Usman to meet at middleweight and interested. Um, rather than clashing at 170, which was apparently where difficulty. Yeah, okay. Usman's obviously interested in fighting at 170, where he was regarded as one of the most dominant champions in the division's history. While Chamaev has been flirting with a move up to middleweight due to continued struggles getting down to welterweight limit. Yeah, Chamaev has, so has trouble making uh, 170. You know, he can make it, I think, but it's, it's like really like he's pretty big dude, six, six, six foot two. You know, he's just I'm sure he can make it though if he really wants to, but still it would be a lot easier at 185. You know, and Usman's a pretty big dude. He could probably make 185. No, you know, like that's a good weight for both of them. You know, I I always said like Usman could probably fight at middleweight. You know, I, I could picture Usman fighting guys at middleweight. Like Usman, if you take Usman and I'm standing next to Robert Whitaker, they're they're similar size. They're both like five eleven. Usman's like what five five ten? What, what Whitaker's like five eleven six foot feet, and Usman's way more diesel. I don't know, bro. You know. Kamar Usman, why are you talking about me? Chamayev said, "You said you want to fight at middleweight. The weight is um no problem for for you." So like Chamayev is calling out Usman. You said you you said you you don't mind coming to middleweight. So what happened? Why aren't you coming to middleweight? You know, and then, and Kamar Usman's like you come to welterweight. So it's like it's one of those things, you know. So anyways, continue. You said you want to fight at middleweight. The weight is no problem for you. You are the boogeyman, but I'm the wolf. Come up. <laughs> That's funny. That sounds like Chamayev. A little clip. Let's watch. Middleweight. Yeah. Wow. Continue. Judging by the response, Shemaev and Usman remain far apart and actually making the fight happen, especially if they're still at odds over the weight class. Shemaev hasn't made an appearance in the UFC since this past September. That's what I'm saying. This September, Dana White said he's going to be in the fighting this September. It's exactly a year. That's why some people are speculating he maybe got suspended or something. I don't know. There's no like actual confirmation of that. So 
him versus Usman in September would be amazing. A middleweight or a catchweight, I'd love to see that. Let's continue. When his weight, okay, since the, the um this past September, when his weight cutting woes forced a last minute change to his planned fight against Nate Diaz, once Diaz opted not to fight a blow to Chemayev, who hit the scales at one seventy eight point five pounds, um, which resulted in him facing off with Kevin Holland instead, and he, and he destroyed Kevin Holland by the way. Chemayev won the fight with a Darsh chokes um, submission less than three minutes into the opening in the, in the first round. Since arriving in the UFC, Chemayev has widely been considered one of the top prospects in the sport. He became a serious threat at 170 pounds after a war with Gilbert Burns, April 2022. But that also that was also the most recent time he made the welterweight limit. Um, if Chemayev has no interest in making that cut down to welterweight again, it appears any hope for a fight against Usman may be out of reach. And that's the hard article. It looks crazy. Chemayev's ranked number four. Not so, but he, I guess Shemayev wants to fight in middleweight. You know, I guess, you know, it's hard to cut. I think Shemayev's like 29 or 30 now, so it's getting hard to cut. At the same time, why doesn't it even just come to 185? Like, I don't get it. You know, because it's a lot easier just to go to, to 185 than it is for Shemayev to just go down to 170. And I'm sure Usman walks around like a 200, so I'm sure that 170 cuts, it's not that easy for him either. So I don't I don't know why Usman doesn't just agree at middleweight. Because if they're, like, let's be honest, if they were really serious about fighting, they would they would figure something out, you know. They would figure a weight out instead of being like, "Oh, you come to welterweight. Oh, you come to middleweight." You no, know, they would figure like something out. They would figure out catch weight. They would figure out, "Hey, just go to middleweight." If they really want to make that fight happen, because honestly, like, do you know how many pay per views that shit would sell? Like, how much money that would make? Chamaya versus fucking Usman, bro. I would love to fucking see that fight. I'll do anything to see that fight. I want to see Chamaya fight in general. I love the way Chamaya fights. I want to see Chum. I'm, I'm a big Chama um Hamza Chamaya fan. I really want to see him fight. You know. Especially against Kamaru Usman, bro. Especially because they're both fucking really good wrestlers. So then it's probably going to come down to the striking. And, oh, man, I just want to see that shit. That shit will be fucking amazing. I really hope they come to some kind of agreement. Because otherwise it's going to turn into that fucking John Jones and Ghana thing where they fucking just talk on Twitter and negotiate back and forth for like three years and then nothing fucking happens. You know what I mean? It's, I really hope it doesn't, it doesn't turn into that where they end up never fighting at all. You know what I mean? You know how many times I've watched fighters call each other out a million times and they can never agree on a contract or they can't agree on a weight or they can't agree on the on the time or whatever. And the, the, the fight never happens. The fight never ends up fucking happening. I really hope it doesn't turn into that. I really hope they end up fucking fighting. I really want to see Hamza Shamaya versus Usman. That'll be a sick fucking fight, you know? And, oh, man. I really hope it should happen soon, you know? Anyways, guys, it's me, Mr. Cash. Remember, 95% of you guys don't subscribe. Subscribe, guys. You know, help the channel grow. I want to make a Discord. I want to make a community. I want us all to talk about UFC in the Discord and just we grow as a community. We almost have 500 subscribers. Um, if you want to donate, I made a Cash App. Um, I'm gonna start um um calling out everybody that donates at the end of the video. So whoever like donates in the Cash App, I'm gonna call out your name at the end of the video. And I'm gonna shout it out. I mean, I'm gonna shout your names out at the end of the video. Okay, so be safe, everybody. All right, take care.